I've seen many uh, digital clocks on YouTube, but usually it's very difficult to uh, reproduce them, so I decided to make my own, and I decided to use a uh, monitor for that. So my clock, they, it doesn't have um, any buttons instead of a remote, and it's very easy to repeat, reproduce. I use the HP monitor, I would suggest to use it, because inside it has rectangular recessed, uh, so I used foam, which is approximately half an inch depth, and that's the one I bought it from Hobby Lobby. On the lower one, I put LED strips, and on top of, next, uh, which goes on top of it, I made the cuts, cutouts. So, and it's the size of this rectangular recess. So I d definitely removed all of the electronics from the inside, uh, and basically I need just the case and the screen. So that's why it's very easy to make. And uh, in this recess, I placed Arduino, and on the side, on a double-sided tape, I put uh, RTC and uh, uh, infrared sensor. As for schematics, it's on Arduino. It has RTC. You will need to remove uh, diet so the battery will last longer. Infrared sensor, uh, 5 volts to amp power supply, and uh, LED addressable strip. So that's basically uh, that's how you wire the sen uh, segments that the how you wire the se segments I use two dots two LED one two LED two dots so the idea is that it keeps memory pr uh, it keeps the time pretty good like one second per day and uh, that's all the components which you have in addition I put uh, inside um, LM35 or LM34 sensor for either Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can cho choose it in the software which one. And uh, that's basically how it looks like. So I, uh, my clock shows time and uh, temperature. So let's go to the keys. So from from uh, 1 to 9 you can choose color so let me just try to press it so as you can see and when you choose this uh, 1 to 9 color it will stay forever but if you press 0 this color will change every minute indefinitely in addition to that, star will cycle the power. Uh, it may be half a second delay, so not, not always it will work from the very first time. That's, by the way, temperature. Oops. Now it's off, now it's on. You can also cycle the brightness. So it goes like very low, then night temperature, then default and then it goes high temperature, uh, high uh, brightness. So in addition to that, when it's normal indication, right and left of the of the remote basically changes brightness in, in small, tiny, incremental, decremental steps. And also, I would like to cover the settings. So in order to get into the settings, you need to press OK. Not getting, not getting it. Oh, lower. You see uh, dots not blinking. Now you can basically adjust your temperature. So you every press up or every press down, you will change it by one degree to adjust to the real temperature in the in the room. After you're done with that, you press uh, OK, and then you can ad adjust time. Left and right one it will change the minutes and if you press up and down it will change 
hours. And when you press OK again, the values uh, dots starting to blink and the values will get stored in RTC. So basically that's my design. Thank you very much. I put all the information like in archive, all the library schematics and the code, Arduino code. So enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye.